Hey everybody, Steve Sheets here with Ghost Ranch Communications bringing you a quick tutorial today on how to create custom shaped images. So basically you take any custom shape you want, use that to crop a picture, and then the picture will be that shape. As an added bonus, a lot of these tricks also work on placeholders for anyone creating custom templates, so keep that in mind. So right now I've got a diamond, you know, obviously most pictures are rectangles, so we're gonna use that as one example, and then let's go ahead and we'll insert a icon. And this will behave just like any SVG from a custom shape that you created in Illustrator or brought in from the internet. Um, these icons here in PowerPoint are gonna behave just like any SVG you'd bring in from anywhere else. So we'll use this as an example as well. All right, with the diamond, one way to do this, go to Format Shape on your right-click menu Go to picture or texture fill and that brings in this burlap texture automatically i'm going to say insert to get a picture of my choosing and let's use this tall skinny photo and you can see that distorted the photo it squished everything vertically to try to fit it into this square shaped diamond you can mitigate this by saying tile picture as texture now that has a zoomed way in because it set the scale back to 100% and it brought us to the top left corner. We can reset that to center and say something like, we'll just say 5% here. And you can see the picture starting to repeat over at the edges, which this is really cool if you're trying to make a pattern on purpose. But if you're just trying to get a picture to fit into a shape, it can make things really tedious. I tend to not work this way unless I am intentionally creating a pattern. What I usually do, I'll just set this back to a gold fill here. What I usually do, I'll say insert pictures from this device. We'll just grab this photo here. I have the picture selected. I'm going to send it to the back and make sure you have the photo selected and then hold shift and select the shape that you want to crop it into. Go to the shape format tab, merge shapes and intersect. And now you've got the picture cropped into the shape. You can have the picture format tab while that shape is selected. Go to crop and uh, you can adjust the crop however you'd like. So yeah, much easier way to work. It's much more intuitive. It's tools that you're used to rather than guessing at you know, scale and numbers and things like that. So that's a pretty good way to do it. Another way to get pictures into a custom shape is uh, when you select the photo, go to the picture format tab under the crop dropdown. You may have also noticed there's this crop to shape button. So you can choose shapes from here and apply those as needed. Now the SVG, or in this case it was an icon, they behave the exact same way, like I said. It works exactly the same, there's just one extra step involved. What you need to do, we'll go ahead, we'll bring in a photo. And again, I'll, uh, I'll scoot this photo over so it is overlapping the icon. I'm going to send it to the back. I have the picture selected. I have the shape or icon SVG selected. You can see I don't have the shape format tab anymore. Now it's the graphics format tab. So the merge shapes button is no longer available. So all you got to do, select that graphic, hit convert to shape. You can also hit ungroup if you know the key command and that breaks it into the individual shapes. I go back to the shape format tab, which I now have, uh, merge shapes union to make that one shape. Sometimes I skip this step, but I find the results are a lot more consistent if I take all the parts that that SVG broke into, merge them into one shape, and then select the photo, select the shape, go back to the shape format tab again, merge shapes, intersect, and there we've got it. We have used an imported SVG or one of those icons as a custom cropping shape for a photo. Now remember these tricks, uh, there's the change shape option as well as the merge shapes option. They work 
just as well on photos as they do in placeholders when you're creating custom layouts. So don't forget that trick. It's extremely helpful. Say you want maybe people's headshots to be in circles on one of the custom layouts you're creating. This is a great way to help enforce that. And if this was helpful to you, please check us out at ghostranch.com. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can check us out here on YouTube for all sorts of presentation tips and tricks. And if you need extra help, don't be shy. Reach out. Hit us up at ghostranch.com. We'd love to hear from you. You can also reach me directly. Again, I'm Steve Sheets. You can find me on LinkedIn. I'd love to help you out with any questions you might have. Thank you so much. Hope you guys have a great day.